classmates. Um, I'm going to do another start video. This video is just to show you how to generate a report for the final assignment. I'm going to use my project as an example and um, show you how simple it is to generate a sample report to be part of your design project report. Alright, so just to recap what we did, we model the structure, applied boundary conditions via um, supports, um, we applied uh, material properties and well, yeah. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, we created members. Oops. Um, that would be beams, columns, and um, walls, and floor slabs. What else did we do? We applied loads and load, oops, load cases and combinations via ACI 318 11, I think. It doesn't matter. And then we Analyze the structure. I guess yeah. so. The next step we want to do is to generate. Now we skip in this step, which is to design the concrete members. Focus on generating reports. <clears throat> well, actually, custom reports. All right. So this is the one we want to focus on. All right. So this is the model here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to close off this to show you where to start. The first thing we need to do is to go into configuration and in the miscellaneous options make sure and select remove Bentley logo from report. Accept and open your your model. My model is version 7. I Meaning this is my 7 revision. And <clears throat> You need to set up, you could set up your job in full, just like how I have it here. We're not going to um, take too much time on that. That is self explanatory. Just put a job number, one, two, three, four, five, or whatever. Second step. Now, this is after you will have run your analysis and you have your, your report. Here you see I have um, concrete design showing number of steel on top, number of steel at the bottom, in sections, <coughs> right? Member 19, showing a stirrup spacing, uh, if it have any at all, right? Um, another way to do that is just double click the member, concrete design, it'll show you bar size 16 which is 5 8 8 of them right and the dimensions of your your design um, um, <clears throat> right so you have the setup now you go to 
your report setup icon and set up your report so one of the first things you would like to have is a nice little picture showing this like for example if you want to highlight the place stresses what we could do is go to place stress um, and the only place stress I want to see cancel this the only place stress I want to see after I generated my automatic is number nine no sorry this is place stress for the soil and the outside let's see one two three that shows the water I'm using I'm going to use the water inside to indicate the water inside the tank to indicate the stresses applied to the walls and the floor so we're going to use the water pressure internally so again come back to place stress water pressure internally stress type we will try mx local normal fill you can change these values if you need to press apply okay so that's what it looks like this icon here take a picture and caption is going to be name it anything but I'm going to put water pressure in tank right press ok so that's picture 9 the next thing we're going to do is go to the setup report setup first thing is job info second thing I want to see is the picture and I want number 9 the third thing I want to see is um, the plate sections, probably materials and uh, combination load case no, oops job info, sorry made up this thing there um output no input we look at supports we can look at support and then in the output <coughs> I want to see stresses so I want to see a summary of the stresses so I'll put plate center principle summary that's fine and for the low cases, all I want to see is the water pressure inside. Um, you could like if it made a lot of pictures like I did, you could delete what pictures you don't want. But for now, I won't do that. Let's keep this in options. Leave this as default. The low cases, we just change that, and in <clears throat> name and logo. Remember in the first instance we remove the default logo. I um, created a BMP file of the UTT logo right here. It must be a bitmap bitmap file. And uh, my position it to the left. All the other stuff we could leave and you go to load save, save as and we put water pressure in tank report okay okay now we want to see what this looks like so let's look at it in one page let's zoom in a little bit so here you have your job information OP is my name KB is you know who's KB um, it have your dates all the job information here comments Structure type gives you a summary of the nodes, beams, and the plates. Um, number of basic load cases, um, load combinations. This is primary number four water pressure internal. Next page gives you a picture. <coughs> Sh 
shows you the support um, support continued now when you look at your output you may not like um, this support continues so you can edit it so go to report setup remove the support you can um, hide the materials oops job info picture nine keep pressing the wrong button um, output Support materials. So this. <clears throat> This is good. Show you the materials, primary load cases, place center principal stress, and this is basically it. What you could do, you could go to print. I'm going to print it to my PDF. Um, press OK. Um, I will call it water and tank report. And there you have it. Have it as a PDF. It looks good. All right, so that's it, guys. Um, I hope you learned how to do the report from a start project. Goodbye.